This is the CO2 cannon. So, stick with me here. I'm gonna show you how this thing works. I'm gonna show you how to build one of them. I can't even believe it works. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. Look at that. Freezing cold. Man, it's a good way to cool down a room. Oh. Yeah. Well, how does this work? First of all, we have to have a tank of carbon dioxide. I'm using one with a dip tube here. See it down to the bottom? And that's so it can draw some of that liquid carbon dioxide out of the bottom. So here are my carbon dioxide molecules, right? When they put them in the tank and put them under high pressure, it actually squishes it down into a liquid. Now there's liquid all over in here, but I'm just squishing it down to the bottom so you can see what's going on. When we've got that liquid, we've got high pressure inside and there's low pressure outside the tank. So when you pull the trigger, it causes the liquid and the gases to go up the tube and expel out into the atmosphere. Now look how it spreads out. How do you understand this? Well, you need to know thermodynamics and gas laws, which basically means as the pressure goes down, it's gonna get colder and colder, which is gonna cause CO2 snow, dry ice crystals and water crystals to form, and then you get the fog course the science is way more in depth and if you want to know more look in the description or go to my website bealscience.com and I'll have a little more information to help you out. Now you want to build one of these? Here you go. Here's what you need. I've got some solder and flux, a brass CO2 nut, and then a half union fitting and then some CO2 fitting threads that get kind of complicated. So keep track of this or again go to the website and see the whole list. Here we go. The biggest thing here is the spray gun handle. You have to have something that can handle the pressure and handle the temperature. So don't skimp on this. We're gonna start by first taking that copper fitting and adding the copper tube to that, soldering it right in place. This is where the CO2 is gonna come out of that spray handle. So we're gonna take our half union fitting and use a little Teflon tape and screw that in there nice and tight. That's on the end of the spray handle. I'm then gonna take that pigtail and screw that on there nice and tight as well, and then build the end that's gonna plug into the CO2 tank. These are the fittings for that. You don't wanna strip this out, so be very careful, very gentle. Then the copper tube goes right into the spray handle. Now, what about the actual physical part, plastic part of the gun? I've got a cap here, and then I've got a fitting. Those are going to end up screwing together, but the first thing I need to do is to screw a hole right in the center of the cap. I'm going to size that up till I get to 3 8 inch, and then that way everything will fit inside of here. I'm using a washer to help keep it steady between the copper and the PVC, and then that'll screw right into the spray gun. Now look, I've got my copper tube coming out. You can choose any size you want. I decided to go with two feet. I'm using two inch. PVC tubing, schedule 40. And then I'm just gonna cut that copper down so there's a little bit of copper on the inside, but not too much. Check it out, the cryo gun. So this thing is a little over the top and I haven't been able to test it quite yet, but seriously, the goal here is to shoot a stream of frozen CO2 and to make a fog and have ice crystals fall out of the air. But also, I wanted to be able to shoot balls like a cannon, so I've made it a little more robust out of Schedule 40 PVC. And there's one more thing I really want to try. I'm thinking I could turn this thing into a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out. So it's time to hook this bad boy up. And what are we going to plug this thing into? Well, a 20-pound CO2 tank which I've strapped onto an old pack frame that I had using a lot of straps and a lot of creativity. Check this thing out. Playing to an empty crowd, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do that. Prepare for the big show. Cool it down in here. Let's try a squishy ball. 
push it down in this bad boy, see if we got enough pressure. We should be at about 700 PSI, which means it should go somewhere. Ready? Squishy ball. This is good, this is good, we're getting somewhere. What about a t-shirt? Now, it's quite obvious that I'm playing to a empty theater at this point, but someday it may not be empty. And someday, I may need to deliver a t-shirt up into the stands. T-shirt, see? T-shirt delivery. Row 12, seat 14. You're welcome. Someday there'll be a real human out there. You know what, this has been a great build. This thing is awesome. And I'm gonna go wow some audiences of little kids at elementary schools and blow their mind with some fog right in their face. And guess what? We got a lot of stuff going on here at Beale Science. Check it all out. They're popping up here on the screen. But you know what? The most important thing is this. Keep on learning. All done. Bye. Thanks for watching. You're good people. You're good people.